Chase Williams live here at Mesquite Horn High School where we're standing by with Reggie Roberson. He just couldn't wait until Wednesday. Of course, that's when signing day is. He wants you guys to know where he's going to play college. Are, are you excited to get this off your chest and finally get it out there? Yes, sir. I'm really excited. You know, this uh, process has been very hard, and, you know, I'm just ready to get it over with. All right. Well, let's let's give you a little information on Reggie and what an outstanding senior season he's had here with the Mesquite Horn Jaguars. Well, first up, he's a first-team all-district wide receiver. He had 60 catches for 1,060 yards and 11 touchdowns. Finds an act for the end zone, uh, obviously. Uh, it, but what makes him even more dangerous, you could say, is what he does on special teams. He's the District 11-6A special teams MVP. He averaged 37 yards per kickoff return, 13 yards on his punt returns, and he's found the end zone twice on that. Obviously a huge asset here for the Mesquite Horn Jaguars. And it's come down to this big senior season for you. You have four decisions here. First off, we've got Washington State. We've got Illinois. We've got West Virginia and Utah, just how hard has this process been for you to, to whittle it down to four and, and now you're finally getting inside? It's been really hard. You know, every coach uh, saw my potential to play at the next level and uh, I'm very blessed to have this opportunity to have these offers and uh, it was just really hard narrowing down the four schools, uh, See, the, four the schools. The word's getting out. Everyone's calling in, trying to find out where, where you're going. Uh, now the recruiting process is, is extensive. It's long, you take a lot of trips. How's that trip to Salt Lake? It was really fun, you know, Salt Lake City, uh, a lot of snow, you know, I'm from Texas, so you won't really see a lot of that when snowmobile. It was really fun uh, to to go there. All right. To find out what kind of football player he is, they take him snowmobiling. Real quick with the parents. Uh, parents, how proud are you uh, of your son? Extremely proud. We couldn't ask for anything more. Process, process been difficult thing you guys as well? Yes, very. Yes. very. All, right. All right. Well, let's get to it. Let's wait no longer. Reggie, the floor is yours. Pick a hat. Tell us where you're going. For the next uh, three to four years, I'll be taking my talents to the University of West Virginia. There he goes. Reggie Roberson going to West Virginia to join Dana Holgerson and the Mountaineers. What was the ultimate selling point for you to go to West Virginia? Uh, you know, just uh, Tony Carrier, uh, he, he really looked after me. You know, he's been knowing me for a lot of uh, Coach Hogan. He's been, he been really looking after me, uh, told me I'd come play uh, right off the back and uh, do a lot of damage at the next level. Going to West Virginia, but staying in the Big 12. We'll be playing a lot of games here uh, close to the DFW area. Reggie, congratulations. Thanks to all you guys. Parents, congratulations to you guys. Steve and Heather, let's send it back to you in the studio. Are we playing the West Virginia fight song? <laughs> nice. We're ready. I always love these stories. So happy for him and his family. Thanks, Chase. Congrats. Very but but I think you're Stop. the kind of guy that loves Tom Brady. Good looking dude, good hair, good teeth, lovely wife. Like a, like a man crush. I, man crush. I Tim, do. Timberlake, right? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I know, you're Tom not going to cheat on Justin hey, Timberlake. Hey, there, no. There's no problem <laughs> with that. But whether you love him or hate him, you've got an opinion about New England. And today, they took an airplane that guided them straight yeah, on down to Houston, 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 home of Super Bowl 51 at NRG Stadium. That's why people don't like Brady right there. Always looking good no matter what. But the point of this video right here, the Patriots are now in the city where they'll play a football game six days from now. Okay, so as you've heard, the Super Bowl is Sunday and it's right here on Fox 4. And because of that, we get to talk to one of the head coaches, Dan Quinn or Bill Belichick. And a fun fact is that I'm really, really good friends with Bill and he's going to join us here soon. Well, actually, here he comes right now. The infamous hoodie himself, Bill. How you doing? How are you doing this morning? Yeah. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late here. No problem, Bill. We're just on live TV. We're here to serve you. Stupid thing. Uh, is everything okay? Exactly. You're a sweetheart, and we go way back, right? Our friendship goes back many years. So uh, you're often portrayed in the fake news that you're a stone-cold coach without a soul, but you're really not. I know that. Your friends, like, I can attest to that. I have multiple friendships that are important to me. Is one of them uh, Steve Eager, the anchor over here? It's possible. I mean, but. you know, he, he's right over here, the anchor here at Fox 4. Guy has a billion followers on Facebook. He says he knows you. Um. I know, right? That's now how we judge ourselves, apparently. So superficial, that Steve Eager, you know? 
You know who is one of my favorites? Heather Hayes. She really holds this place together. Okay, well, let's just move on. Let's talk a little football. I mean, it is Super Bowl week. You're going for a fifth Lombardi trophy. I know you're locked in at the moment, but coach, Billy, that's pretty awesome. Well, then, well, then why, then we want to end on a high note. Absolutely. So just a little insight on the Falcons. What's the key to get this win? Well, let's just end on a high note. <laughs> And there he goes. Speaking of a high note, it doesn't get any better than this right here. The 23 year anniversary of Emmett Smith and the Cowboys knocking off the Bills in Super Bowl 28. Emmett ran for 132 yards, a couple scores. Jimmy got his hair messed up, and the Cowboys win 30 to 13. And I bet Steve Eager <laughs> never, never gets his hair messed up. You know what? I, I do. But I was fascinated. I would love for somebody to call Belichick Billy. Hey, like <laughs> say, I did. Yo, Billy. It happened. That would be if awesome. you didn't tell, that would be great. It really happened. Clarice, uh, people call LeBron James the king. Well, it was him bowing at the feet of the Mavs tonight. Yes, those same Dallas Mavericks that just a couple weeks ago were in the mix for a lottery pick, but not so much anymore. The Mavs got a big win over the Spurs last night. Could they do it again? Early on, LeBron James says no. Part of a 22 5 Cleveland run in the first. LeBron led the Cavs with 23 points. Dallas closes the first half strong, though. Harrison Barnes gets the bucket and the foul. He has a game high 24. Mavs led by five at recess and build on that lead in the fourth. Dirk Nowitzki doing what he does best. The triple is good. Later, though, it's the rookie Yogi Ferrell signed to a 10 day contract on Saturday. Impressive once again. He had 19, outscoring the Cavs all star Kyrie Irving. The Mavericks upset San Antonio and Cleveland on back-to-back -back nights, 104-97, the final. Super Bowl 51 this Sunday from NRG Stadium in Houston, right here on Fox 4. But tonight, it was media night. Reporters pulling out all the stops before every, everyone gets down to business for the game. Most of the players really don't like all the shenanigans of this event, but because it is a business trip for the Patriots, they're gunning for their fifth Lombardi Trophy. And Mr. Tom Brady would definitely like that. You know, it's just a hardworking team, and coaches uh, challenged us every step of the way, and the team's met the challenge. So our biggest one's ahead of us, and, um, you know, it's the one that means the most, but it's the toughest one to earn, too. So, uh, you know, I think it's important this week to just stay focused on what we need to do and the preparation and go all the way up to game time and then try to let it rip on Sunday night. Well, the AP poll let it rip this afternoon. The top 25 poll released, and Gonzaga takes over the top 25 top spot. Baylor right behind them at number two. Kansas at three, and then over on the hilltop, the Ponies getting votes. Only time before they officially crack this list. Meanwhile, kids all across the country want to be on a list of those signing their name on an official letter of intent to play football in college. You can't officially do that until Wednesday, but tonight, over at Mesquite Horn, we found someone that doesn't have commitment issues. I'll be taking my talents to the University of West Virginia. <laughs> Reggie Roberson pulling a LeBron and claiming that on Wednesday, he'll send that letter of intent via fax. I have no idea why they still use fax machines to Morgantown and join a really solid team in West Virginia, where the plan now is to do what? Just work, work my butt off, you know, uh, can't never stop working. Uh, God got me to this moment and, uh, you know, I'm just going to keep praying to him. I'm just going to excel to the next level. It's amazing. Uh, he's a kid that was always told he couldn't do it. So now to see he can do it and he's got everything he deserves. Good kid, Reggie Roberson, and he, he's going to push for, for playing time right away as a freshman. Uh, big things, expect big things out of Mr. Roberson from Mesquite Horn. That is awesome. Congratulations. Very good. Thank you.